Hi children, welcome back. So in the last video we have le uh, learned already a different topic. Then uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the green wealth. See here, as soon as uh, you look around in the a very free place or space, so um, more than everything we see the different green color. Then what is that green color? Green color is nothing but they have we have a many thousands the different types of the trees, isn't it? But as soon as we see the uh, the similar trees are very rare to see. We can see the trees. Of course, the color is same, green color. But we can see its a size, shape, and the length and how they look. They are different, uh, totally different from each other. For example, uh, just uh, around my house, I can see a neem tree, mango tree, tulsi, aloe vera, mint, coriander, and some vegetables and uh, some flower plants, rose plant, and some other hibiscus plant. And these all are totally different. Of course, the uh, color is green. But these two, these are totally different in their uh, uh, leaf venation, the structure of the leaf and um, the size of the tree and how they have grown up to the, which type of flowers they are uh, bearing. These all are totally different from one, uh, one uh, compared to one tree to another tree or one plant to another plant. Then these are uh, different in sizes, size. One is very long, one is very short. One is very broad and one is very uh, uh, like in this much place only it has grown. So like this. These are different in first of all size that uh, the length size and the length and its leaves. Uh, the um, uh, aloe vera leaf is totally different from the tulsi leaf and the tulsi leaf is, uh, leaf is totally different from the hibiscus leaves. So, and the hibiscus leaves are th totally different from the neem tree leaves. Okay. So, like this, even the venation, the structure of the leaf are also different from one to another. Then, why like this? Can we uh, learn like these all uh, uh, plants in a systematic way? Or like this only randomly we can see? Of course, we can learn because of uh, these all, to avoid these all confusions only, we have divided uh, these all green wealth into some of the types. Then what are those types? First one is tree. Second one is herb. Third one is shrubs. Fourth one is climbers. And the fifth one is creepers. Okay. So uh, depending upon their nature and how do they have the... Um, capacity uh, i mean uh, the thickness of their stem and strongness and their growth depending upon the uh, those all characteristics we have divided into five different types of plants one is tree herb shrubs climbers and the creepers then the first one tree as soon as i tell you tree uh, tree means it has a very thick trunk or very strong um, <coughs> very strong and very thick stem part of the tree and which can be very strong to grow and it can it has the capacity to be alone or stand alone even in the wind even in the rain even in the any climate so even that uh, big tree is going to give us the shadow also for the other animals including the human beings then what are the trees trees are um, having very thick and the strong stem and they can grow very high highest point of the uh, they can grow till the highest point of their height so for example banyan tree we, you have seen the banyan tree how the banyan tree is very big very broad and its roots are roots and the stem part is very thick and even very strong also and these are going to live for years together of course and these are going to uh, very, be very helpful in giving the oxygen banyan tree mango tree neem tree coconut tree so these all i have whatever i have given these all these all are the simple examples which are example for the trees then second one is herbs herbs are soft and 
thin stem herbs are also a variety of plants but in the plants kingdom or in the plant green wealth we can divide herbs into um, uh, herbs uh, like which have the plants which have very soft and thin stem for example coriander leaves or coriander plant we are eating every day in the food spinach of course we eat mint of course we eat tulsi of course we eat as compared to the trees trees are very big and very thick and they will grow very highest point as compared to the tree, trees herbs are of soft and thin stem and they will grow up to some height some extent height okay and they are even uh, but these uh, leaves are the spinach leaves spinach and the coriander mint these all are used for the medicinal purpose okay a uh, medicinal purpose means what in preparing the syrups and in preparing the uh, tablets and even in preparing the uh, perfumes and in preparing the soaps soap we use for bathing bathing soaps so like in like this um, things these are herbs are used the most these tulsi spinach you, we already have seen if you have not seen just you observe they are not so weak also and so thin also but they are not too strong also as compared to the tree but they have the soft and thin stem then after this the third one is shrubs shrubs the third type is shrub shrub means again they have a thick stem compared to the herbs they have a thick stem and a um, uh, thick and strong stem compared to the herbs but not thicker as uh, the trees okay not thicker and not stronger as much as the trees but compared to the herbs they have uh, very thick and a strong stem and they can grow above this or more than this herbs herbs of course the tulsi uh, tree uh, plant will be only this much only and the spinach is only this much height and the coriander is this much height and even mint tree plant is also it can grow only till this much but this shrubs can grow 5 to 6 meters means uh, uh, above my height you can uh, compare above my height it can grow till here so it has a growing capacity more than the herbs okay about this we will discuss in the next video children i hope you have uh, understood whatever we have discussed in this video and in the next video we are going to discuss about shrubs and the climbers and the creepers so by before ending this one i want to give you some questions write down how we have divided uh, the green wealth you have to write all the five types and first two types you have to give example and write about them for example what are trees and give example what are herbs sorry ah yes what are herbs and give example i hope you will do this homework in the next video we are going to continue this one bye bye